Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing... Uh, what the... Oh, <laughs> not this again. Did somebody say dumbbell? Hello, Arnold. How are you going to talk about dumbbells without inviting me, the legendary <laughs> bodybuilder, actor, politician, D. Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> oh, uh, Arnold, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you think we could... Listen here, you little wannabe fitness jerk. I've been lifting dumbbells twice your size since before you were born. Yeah, I, no, I get it, but... Okay, I'm hanging up now. Goodbye, Arnold. Wait. Hold on, you're not even gonna let me say? I'll be back. Fine, just say it. <clears throat> I'll be back. Wait, dang it, I messed up. Okay, so as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, in this video we're gonna be discussing the VR dumbbells from Kiwi Designs. These were sent to me for free by Kiwi, so thank you very much. However, as you know on this channel, I am going to dig in on every piece of equipment or game that I find. No punches pulled, no questions asked. Let's go. So for those of you who already follow my channel, you know my opinion about weighted gloves and weighted wrist weights, and if you don't, click the video above, because I am gonna be referencing a lot of the stuff that I said before, but if you haven't seen this video about the science behind it, check it out, because it might just save your life, or not your life, but maybe you're like your joints and maybe you won't get as, Never mind. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Now this doesn't even really look like a dumbbell. Yeah, how do you know? But first, what even is a dumbbell? We're gonna have to jump into our handy dandy time machine, I have the controller for it right here, and see just where the dumbbell came from. Let's go. Uh oh, that didn't work. All right, so uh, no time machine, I guess. So it looks like we're gonna have to settle for the internet Hooray! instead. Well, originally dumbbells were known as halters and were used as training tools for the ancient Greeks. Their slow evolution turned them into a more widely known shape we see today with a balanced weight on either end. They're used for resistance training to gain muscle, for strength training to gain well strength, and for rehabilitative purposes. And that's gonna be an issue when we get to it later in the video about why the VR dumbbell might not work the way you think it works. Beyond the halter, however, the word dumbbell came from a long time ago in the 1700s. Dudes were training with church bells that were super heavy. Now, if you can see by this picture here, a church bell is got a clapper on the inside. That's what makes the noise when you bang it back and forth. And these guys were taking the clapper out of the bell, so now they just had this really heavy resistance tool that they could use that didn't make noise and could get them super jacked and swole. Dumb, no noise. Bell, well it's literally a bell. Now these are not balanced on either side. It contains all the weight up top. And while you may think that this is unnatural for a weight, allow me to explore my tool chest with you and show you all of the top-loaded weights that I personally own. So here's my collection of top-loaded weights. We're gonna start here with the Chop Fit Chopper, yeah. It's exactly what it looks like. It's a tomahawk-shaped weight that has about four pounds to each head. It's got its own workout style and it's pretty fun to use. This one here is the steel mace. Now, this one you use more in a flowing movement and not so much like lifting or punching, but as you can see, I'm sweeping it all over the place because it utilizes the momentum of the head and it's a lot of fun and pretty to look at. Now Thor's hammer, oh my god, I love this thing. This is more of a powerlifting tool. It's like a single handle kettlebell, even though a kettlebell already has a single hand. It's used for a lot of pressing and grip training movements. A lot of fun, very dangerous. And <laughs> now the Indian clubs, they're kind of like mini steel maces. They're fun to use. I'm not great with them, so um, I can only do so much. I usually use it for shoulder opening and um, little bits of things like that, but that's my collection. So there are top loaded weights that don't have like a very heavy bottom. And I just wanted to show you, just so you're aware that these aren't anything like super weird. I mean, they're weird, but not super weird. 
Looking at the dumbbells, you can easily see that it's basically a plastic casing that can be filled with weights. And I use the word weights very generously here as they are just large washers and weights mean they're just weighted a little heavier than air, basically. These tip the scales at about 350 grams. Now, if we're talking freedom units, that's about 0.75 pounds, three quarters of a pound. Other things that weigh about a pound. And your mom. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! Easy, that was, that was just, sorry, sorry. Who are you? What have you, what have you become? What, what is this, what, what am I even talking about anymore? Is this, is this real life? Is this what you expected of me? Moving on. So calling these things weights is a bit of a stretch. They kind of just feel weirdly heavy. Remember back in the day when everything was just kind of bulkier and heavier? Like cell phones were heavy, laptops were oddly heavy and weirdly yellowish browner. It wasn't a good thing. They weren't like fitness cell phones. That's just what they were. They were just kind of heavy. But back then we thought they were lighter because the alternative was much heavier. So it really is all relative. But that's what this made me think of. Not a fitness tool, not something that's like heavy, but just weirdly out of dately heavy. Is that a thing? Just like, like a heaviest thing that I wish was lighter. I'm rambling now, but you get the idea. Anyways, they also come with plastic spacers that if you wanted to lighten the load, you could by adding these plastic spacers. That way they're not clinking around in there like a bag of nickels. However, these things aren't really that heavy to begin with, so what you really should do with them is roll them up real tight. Turn that some sideways and stick it straight up your candy! Garbage can, because you're really never gonna use these. These things are already super light. So I loaded up the dumbbells and I got right to work. And I did two workouts with a half hour break in between to let my heart rate come down. I did the exact same workout for consistency, this one right here. And the only difference is that in one workout, I used the dumbbell attachments and in the other, just the regular Quest 2 controllers. The results were absolutely shocking and I'll get to that in a moment, but first let me talk about how it felt to work out with these things. With the weights on my hands, it felt sluggish and slow. It did not feel like I was getting my punches out on time. Now I know I don't have the fastest punches. Mr. Smiles told me in the comment section. Thanks, Smiley. And I also noticed that I had to grip the controller a little bit weird for two reasons. One, the top of the dumbbell screws on to the Quest 2 controller and it limits the range of motion of your thumb. And I typically have my thumb in a specific place when I'm playing and I had to actually move my thumb slightly downward and it kind of threw off my whole experience. It just wasn't as comfortable as I'm used to. The second thing is because this is top loaded, it was looking to pull itself out of my hand at all times. So when the weight was loaded on top here, it kept trying to pull itself over my finger. The way I had to compensate with that was to push down with my thumb here. That became not a fun experience after a while and the pain became a little bit nagging. Now I'm the last person to complain about pain in a workout, but owie, that hurted. Mm. Basically what was happening was my body was compensating for an unfamiliar movement and it was not a pleasant experience. When using no dumbbells, I felt fast, furious, and like my punches were connecting the way I wanted them to. And I was able to push myself to the limit the way I knew best. Hitting every target felt nice and smooth, silky smooth, buttery smooth. But remember I told you the results were shocking? Here's why. I actually got a better workout by not using the dumbbells. That's right, my heart rate got higher, not by much, but here's where it is weird. If this was really a fitness tool, you would expect the dumbbells to be much higher. Whereas in reality, it actually came out less, not much less, but the fact that they're about the same tells you that they're not doing a whole lot. Why is this, you're asking? Well, when you place a load on something, it's gonna inherently go slower. Slower movements cause a compensation. For me, in my workout with Supernatural Boxing, the compensation was both speed and power. I couldn't produce quality speed or good power, so therefore, I wasn't getting a good enough workout. I was getting a slower, more sluggish workout that just had weights attached to them. And thus, my workout suffered. Not by much, but enough to show you that these actually didn't do much and they provided no benefit to cardio. 
Ask any competitive marathon runner if they tie weights to their ankles to make themselves go faster or to get a better workout. It goes against everything we know as trainers in the fitness world that adding a load on something just doesn't make it better. So now that I know that it's not really a fitness tool, I wanted to test to see if it could be kind of an immersion tool because it is heavy and it reminded me of kind of like holding a pistol. So I tried it out on a lot of different games. But hey, enough talking. Cut to that sweet montage, baby. Oh, and if the beat live, you know Lil Ju made it. Hands on my knees, shaking from my thighs. Post me a pic, finna make me a profit. When the liquor hit, then the b get toxic. Why the f you in the club when you wild? I've been lit since brunch. That order 42 for the table, let's pop. Missionary or a doggy style on my top. Hey, niggas, hey, know me from the closet. <laughs> Trying to call me a snake snake. Guess I can relate, because a bit a whole lot of venom. And since these b are rats, when they come around me, all I see is a whole lot of dinner. I walk around the house, but nigga, then I stop at air mirror. Just stare at my own posterior. I don't give a f who talk behind my back. Cause the b knew better than to let me hear. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees, hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. Said he wish a b would, and I'm a genie. So high, gotta stay in bikinis. He got a girl, but he keep begging to see me. I love it when a got a mouth full of VVs. No, I'm not a patient, but I let him treat me. I gotta be a doctor, how I'm ordering CC. Your place, no face, no case, 99% tent in a blacked out race. I remember just to clap for me happily. Now I'm bossed up and them same mad at me. Acting like they ride whole time trying to pass me. Watching me go through it, still trying to drag me. Acting like you winning if you think about it actually. Are they supporting you or really just attacking me? I don't give a f about a blog trying to bash me. I'm per the recording academy. So overall, I can't put my stamp of approval on these. It feels like a prototype that did not get tested thoroughly enough by anyone with any kind of athletic experience prior to release. Needless to say, you can't just add weights to things to make them better. I know you think you're going to tone up, which as I've said multiple times in the past, if people are telling you that you're going to tone your muscles, they are trying to sell you something or they couldn't tell their ass from a hole in the wall if it bit them in the ass that their wall was Oh god, I just completely derailed there, but you know what I'm saying. That's not how the human body works. To tone your muscles, you must lose body fat and grow said muscle. It's not as easy as add weights, become toned. Doesn't work like that, don't care. There's two things that could make these dumbbells work. Number one, have them be more balanced, meaning a traditional dumbbell with a weight on either side. That's how you're gonna make this a better fitness tool. Number two, don't try to shoehorn these dumbbells into games that already exist. These games were made for not this. So trying to put something that isn't meant for it in is just gonna cause injury and it's going to make you feel sluggish, slow, and not enjoy your VR workout. And that's what working out in virtual reality is all about. It's taking that chore that we have to do in the gym and turning it into a fun experience. The moment you start adding weights that don't belong there, turns the experience into a not fun experience. If a game was built around these, maybe I could get behind them. Let's say it was more strength or resistance training. I feel like gym masters could probably do something with these. Hey, hey, wake up gym masters. We're waiting for something from you. Or even VR workout. I know for a fact they could do something with these, but as it stands, my opinion stays the same. As of this moment, right now, weights do not Long in VR Fitness. Why are you pulling me? I'm Ray. My name is Ari with Fit Pro VR. And, and don't forget to get in your workout today.